Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Satisfactor Oreo. <laughs> Satisfactory. I've been calling it Satisfactorio Subnautica. Uh, so I skipped the intro, which is the crash landing, just because it's a little bit slow. Oh, I see there's a little doggo over there, a little pet I want to get eventually. But this is where I crash landed. I'm playing the game at 4K, so it just looks so beautiful. Um, holy crap. <laughs> He is uh, not moving normally, I don't think. He's kind of floating. <laughs> he was stuck in the water uh, when I loaded this up the last time. So I haven't really done anything. So I've got my early objectives here, find iron. So we're gonna find an iron pile and get going here. I'm gonna see as much as I can do. See what I can do in, um, let's see here, maybe an hour or less. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, where was the iron? Down there, in the past the water. We're gonna be grabbing all the plants we can Initial grab. Just scans reveal coloring properties in the flower petals. Further analysis required. Okay, yeah, I'm grabbing all the grass. We're gonna need a bunch of grass. I've never seen one of these things before. It's like a geyser. Geyser cannot be picked up. <laughs> I think it's a work in progress. Okay, I'm gonna grab these this flowers. This possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. Okay, where was that iron? I think it was this direction. There's some that way, 300 meters, okay. That seems to be the closest one. I've never been in this biome before. It looks pretty amazing. This game just looks and sounds so nice. Oh, we got some berries. This consumable possesses minor healing properties. Further analysis required to establish object scanner identification. You can skip the uh, narration now, which is kind of nice. Oh, we're blocked by a tree there. Oh, we got a nice little valley down here. Okay. I could work with this. Looks nice. After a scan, it seems to fade away. After a while. Okay, shift to run. I should have done that earlier. Now you can set... Oh, this is a huge place. This might be a good place to build actually, because it's nice and flat. And there's tons of space. Look at this. Oh, that's a cool looking arch. Oh, I think there's a predator up there. Okay, let's try to get him. Oh, where'd he go? Come here, you. They're very fast. He's running away. So they added a lot of fixes, a lot of enhancements. If you double click on something now, it puts it in your inventory. So we'll double click the berries, gobble them up, double click our weapon. And I guess that guy ran away, so we'll leave him alone for now. We got a copper deposit here. I'm gonna grab some of this right now. Just chop the top off. And I think this is pretty close to the iron. I might grab a little bit more. I'm gonna grab a hundred. Might be overkill, but we're here. Might as well grab it. Now once I can make a portable miner, I'll come back and put one on here. Okay, that should be good. Now, where was that iron? Oh, he's back. I hear him. Let's get him before he gets us. Okay, we got his shell there. Now, where's my iron? Over Studying there. Okay. The remains of this creature might shed light on how to defend yourself in the future. I recommend analysis. 
Okay, iron up ahead. Oh, I hear some, some magical something. Oh, there's a slug up there. Oh, and another enemy. Let's get him preemptively here. Okay, we got iron here. Let me grab some of this. We got a message. Objective. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Okay, we're gonna build a hub. Ensure the oh. hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. Well we got our iron. We got a pretty wide open space. We got copper nearby. I'm thinking this is a good place to start. I don't want to look around too much. More iron down here. And look at this nice wide open space here. Hmm. I think I'll stick my hub here. The hub. We can always build another one later. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. Fifth objective hub upgrade storage and power. Note the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Okay, I'm just turning all this into ingots while she's uh, blabbing away. That's probably enough for now. Uh. Tier zero, hub upgrade. Get all this good stuff, portable miner. Okay, what do we need for that? 10, it's up in the right here, 10 rods. Let's make a bunch of those. Upgrade the hub. Shift left click to stick it in there. And while she's chatting, I'm gonna just keep making ingots. You have unlocked hub feature biomass generator, hub feature personal storage, scanner feature copper, new equipment, buildings, and blueprints, which can be found in the workshop when built, build menu, and craft bench, respectively. Good, good, good. Sixth objective hub upgrade construction. Note connect buildings to a generator for power. Note. Buildings such as the smelter require a blueprint to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. Okay, we'll be doing that. Now I'm just making all this stuff manually because I want to be able to kind of jump start into this really quickly. Now this might not be the permanent place for the base, but this will be kind of our early jump, st jump start base. Like I was saying, tons of bug fixes, some feature changes added with early access. I'm gonna make some plate here. Make some plate, make some rods. Make some wire. We're gonna need all this stuff here. And let's make some cable. Okay, I'm gonna store some stuff away here. Put the flowers away, put the mushrooms away. Shells, that should be good. Okay, what do we need for the next upgrade? Hub upgrade two. We need quite a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna get some portable miners made first though. Bef but for that, I'm going to need a little building here. The, uh... Let's stick it back here where it's kind of out of the way. The equipment workshop. Now, it's easy to rebuild later. Did I build it facing the right way? Uh, no. Can I use it from this side? Yeah, okay. Portable miner. Yeah, that's what I want. One of those. Actually, I'm going to make two. Okay. One for the iron, which was up here. Actually, 
Actually, I can stick it right here. So we can... Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this iron deposit is pure. In my last playthrough during the uh, alpha preview, it was uh, impure. So this is a good place to start, I guess. Unless they made them all pure. I'm not sure. So there's our portal miner. He'll collect 100 and, and then he'll stop. So we'll have to periodically empty him out. And I'm going to go put down another one by the copper. That was just up here. Nice and close. Oh, some berries, I think. Delicious copper. So double click to put it in your inventory slot and then just click on the ground to make it start mining. And I'm just gonna wait for a second. Grab a little bit of copper here. It's probably good enough for now. It'll fill up really quickly. Let's get all this brush, grass and stuff. Okay, that kind of cleared things away. Now, I don't know, I don't think it regrows, but let's get this power going. We're gonna just chuck some leaves in here. Now, the first thing I wanna do is a smelter. I think I'll do that really close here. I'm gonna stick a smelter right here. And I'm gonna face the back end towards the iron deposit up there. Because eventually we're gonna put a miner up there and bring the iron down into this thing. We wanna make iron ingots. Uh, we're gonna stick iron ore in there. And we need power. So it auto binds a wire to your hotbar on number two so you click the uh, click the power source and then go over to the thing you want to attach it to and click it and you got power what do we need to upgrade this thing uh, I think we have everything we need why is it telling me that the power is no good oh because I had it still selected okay let's fill this up rods plates Need to make a few more rods and plates. Oh, and I want to put um, more iron in the smelter. Grab all. Grab those ingots. Make some plate. And we need a couple rods, okay. It's a little bit like Factorio in the start, a little bit manual. Okay, let's upgrade. Oh, I'm missing some copper. Copper wire. I'm just going to make a bunch. You don't have to click, you just hold the craft button and it makes it for you. Okay, upgrade hub. There we go. While she's chatting, I'll just keep making wire here. Congratulations. You have unlocked scanner stone. New buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, hub upgrade, conveyor belts. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Note, constructors are capable of constructing copious parts, of which only one type at a time. Okay, I'm going to put my constructor right by the smelter here. It'll let me. I think maybe something's in the way. Oh, can't afford. 
Reinforced iron plate. I think it just told me I needed to do that, so what does that take? Screws and plates. Let's make some screws here. One iron plate. Okay, I need to make a bunch of I need to get a bunch of ingots here. Grab those. Should be good. Try that again. Fabricator. Sorry, constructor. Now if you hit control, it kind of lines them up. So that should be good. Eventually we're going to connect these two, but for now we're going to manually put in... We're going to make iron plate. So we're going to chuck some ingots in there. And we need to hook up the power, but we've already used up our power line here. So what I'm going to do... Disconnect this power line and make a power pole, which I can't afford because I have no concrete. So I'll quickly hook it back up. And we're going to go find some limestone, which we can turn into concrete. So if you hold C, you can change your scanner. We're going to change the limestone. Scan for limestone. Hopefully there's some close. There's one over there, 141 meters. Oh, there's one there that's 76. That's pretty close. That's really close. Oh, perfect. It's like right here. Grab this mushroom. I think you can eat these. Oh, I can't even, I can't even collect that one. Oops. I'll crack the top off. We'll get a miner going here as well. Oh, the sky's looking pretty blue. It's twilight. Okay, I hope the top breaks off eventually. There we go. Okay, we got a lot. Uh, and where was that copper? I think it's up there. Do I have any inventory space? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab that copper since we put that mining drill up there. Now there's a setting in the com in the key bindings where you can have auto sprint kind of set. So that way you don't have to hold left shift all the time, you just hit it once and it's auto runs, which is really nice. So time for some concrete. Well, where did all this grass come from? Maybe it does grow back. Maybe it was always there. Concrete. Now as far as I know, limestone can only be used for concrete so far, so I'm just going to make it all. And we're going to put a power pole here right I guess there for now so power poles let you connect four lines so what we're gonna do is hit F to disassemble that line and then connect this the power generator to the pole and then the pole to each thing and that leaves one one gap left and I'm gonna make another power pole which I'm gonna use later right here and connect that to the power pole for now there we go so we can expand our power next time we need it grab all this good stuff which we're gonna need and it's nice just to clear it all out so we can see what we're doing later on we get a chainsaw and we can clear out the trees That's a bit better. Let's go get our iron here. Grab all. Feed this in here. Grab our ingots. Stick our ingots in here. Keep that all going. So what do we need for the next upgrade? Uh, we can make it all. All that stuff we can make. So 10, 10 concrete. Let's chuck that in there. 
Uh, we need some more of that. And we need quite a few plates. Okay. Maybe I'll just make the plates manually. I'm gonna go grab some more iron up here. Maybe I'll get rid of this top as well. I think I was hitting the wrong place. Maybe I was hitting below. Oh no, that's good. Okay, we'll grab a little bit more. Now I could put an infinite number of these on here, but I'm kind of pushing towards the mark one miner, which is uh, lets you mine automatically and it's much better. Okay, let's make some ingots. I could put a second smelter down. In fact, I'm going to do that right now, if I can afford it. Smelter. We'll do iron ingots in here as well. Put our ore in here. And hook it up to the power. So I'm going to have to go from this power line all the way to that. Missing cable. Can't afford. Okay. Not a problem. Let's try that again. That power pull to this thing. There we go. And we got ingots coming out too now. Okay, let's grab those, stick them in here. Grab that. And handcraft the rest, I guess. How much do we have now? Not many. <laughs> We also need reinforced iron plate. Let's just handcraft these ingots. And let our smelters catch up. Did I put any in here? No, but I'm just gonna drop the flowers and wood in there. And the leaves I'll stick in the in this thing because it's probably running low. Oh no, it's good for now. Sort inventory is handy, it just kind of cleans everything up. Oh, was that a dog? Doggo? I thought I saw an animal there. Maybe I'm just seeing things. things. I know he's running around here somewhere, I saw him earlier. Okay, I feel like it's really dark out. Let's grab that. Stick some ore in there, and we're out of ore. Let's go back up here. Maybe I'll build another one of these. Yeah, let's build another. I think Chris, we're a little bit starved for iron ore at the moment. Portable miner? Yeah, let's do that. And we'll stick that on here. Double click to stick it in your inventory, your slot, and then don't forget to put your weapon back on in case you get attacked. Which often happens. Kind of wish they'd set a key that let you empty these uh, without opening them. They'll probably do that eventually. Let's load this up. Okay, wait a minute. Oh yeah. Okay, this is flashing yellow. It means out of ore. Fill that right up. Grab our plate. Put some ingots in there. Sorry, put some ingots in there. And I'm just gonna make kind of plate manually here. We also need reinforced plate. Okay. Okay, that filled that up. Now we just need some reinforced. Which requires screws and iron plate, I think. I 
guess I'll go back up here. <laughs> did I put my thing on the limestone? I don't think I did. But we're not really needing the concrete right away here. I think we're going as fast as we can, but as long as, unless I miss something. Okay, that should be good for the next upgrade here. Oh, we gotta actually make the reinforced plate. Wait a minute, is that what it needs? Yeah, there we go. And, oh, we need the wire. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. What do we get here? You have unlocked new buildings and blueprints, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Okay, we got... Eighth objective. Hub upgrade. Additional power. Advice. When planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. Okay. Caution. Oh. Overloading the power network guarantees suboptimal performance. Good to know. And now we got conveyor belts on... Key finding three, but I have no iron plate, so let's grab all that. Let's uh, make sure this is fully stocked. Make sure this is fully stocked. Now we can connect them. Yeah. Now, this one, instead of doing iron, I'm going to switch it over to copper ingot. And we're going to chuck our copper ore in there. And then I'm going to make a sec second fabricator right beside this one for copper stuff. And I think, what, what's it complaining about here? It's all good. If the lights turn yellow or red on these things, it means something's up. It's not producing normally. Let's see what we need for our next upgrade here. Oh, next upgrade, we get storage containers and the miner. Perfect. Both are big, big hairy deals. Okay, I'm going to make another portable miner. Let's just make sure that limestone. I can't remember if I dropped one there or not. Did I? I don't see one. No, I don't think I did. We'll make one. And a little portable miner in there. I select the right key. There we go. Get that going. Okay, here's my inventory. I'm gonna go grab some copper. Okay, things are ramping up pretty pretty quickly, I think. Let's see what else we can make. I think they keep adding things to this room too. Oh yeah, we got bunk beds now. Got a kitchen, got a toilet. <laughs> and a little computer thing here. Solitaire. A fatal exception has occurred. It must be windows. Okay. Let's see what we can make on here. We can make uh, biomass now out of leaves. Now biomass is just a denser form of fuel, so I'm gonna make as much as I can here. Make it out of wood or leaves. Enough no space in my inventory. Oh, okay. Let's go take the leaves out of here. I can, which I can't, because I've got no inventory space. Okay. Back we go. Stick the wood in there. The flowers. Okay, that should be good. 
Take the leaves out, put the biomass in. That should fire back up. There we go. And I think I need some more reinforced plate if I'm going to do another constructor. Yeah. Okay, constructor. I think we have the power to run all this. Oh, we're out of copper ore. Let's chuck that in there. And build another constructor here. Hold control to line it up if I can. The tree might be in the way here. Okay, it's not going to line up perfectly. Is that too much of an angle? Uh, that might be. We'll try. <laughs> Connect that. Oh no, it works. And here I'm going to do wire. There we go. Copper ingots are flowing. We need to hook up the power though. So, connect that to this. Perfect. Let's go get some more iron. Load it in here. Keep this going. Grab the products. I think I can put some iron ingots or copper ingots in there. Yeah. Okay. Now, what do we need for the next thing? Those sand concrete. I can put that in there. Rods and hundred iron plate. Oh, we almost got it all. Cable. Get rid of these leaves. And then some rods. Oh, I need 75 rods. Okay, that's quite a few. But we can do it. Let's go. Make sure our machines are full here. Iron ore. Let's empty these out. Assume we can bring these up. We won't need them anymore. And we're almost out of copper ore, so I'm gonna go run over and get some. Oh, there's the dog. Oh. Okay. This guy looks hungry, so what we do is we drop some berries on the ground. And he eats one. And he gets all happy and he starts following you. I think he ate it. Pretty sure he ate it. Oh. Yeah, he, he ate one. He's, he's not following us. Maybe you have to feed him multiple berries. Come here, doggy. One more berry for you. Is he gonna eat it? Oh, come here. Maybe we can pet him. No, we're gonna drop another berry. <laughs> yeah, he ate it. He's still not our friend. Okay. Maybe it takes a lot of berries to make him happy.
Back home we go. But I'm gonna grab the copper on the way home, which was up here. Did I get it? Oh, my inventory is full. Let's trash these flowers. Put some of this extra crap away. Uh, I'll put the biomass in there for now. Wooden, wood, wooden wood. Okay, that's good. Let's get our copper in here. It's flashing yellow because it's out of stuff. Okay, we got lots of wire. Decent amount of plate. I might want to switch this over to all iron plate, depending on what we what we need, depending on what the next goals are. Okay, I think we're good for the upgrade. Oh, we're just shy of a bit of plate here. Let's get that in there. Okay, upgrade time. Player upgraded? Yeah, we got more inventory space. Congratulations. You have unlocked pub feature, additional biomass generator. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Ninth objective, pub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Okay, I think the next thing, they'll put a scanner here, but... To see, uh, let's see what the next upgrade takes. Upgrade five. Concrete wire. Okay, not too bad. We'll get through that. Let's just keep our fabricator stocked. Might as well just make some stuff while I'm sitting here. We're not automatically making cable, so. Oops, wrong key. But we do have, I think we get the miner now. Miner MK1, okay, perfect. We need concrete, a portable miner, and rods. Do I have any concrete to be? No, let's go get our limestone, which I think is over here. Miner MK1, we need... Oh, we got everything. Oh, no, I don't have a portable miner. Okay, we're going to make one of those. I'm going to make two. Or three, maybe. <laughs> because there's three different places I want to mine. Now, do we have enough power for this? I think I got another power thing unlocked here. I do. Perfect. Okay. I need to chuck some biomass in there. My inventory is full. <laughs> Put the iron ore in there. Stick the rest in here. Put the limestone in there. Okay. Biomass. Now you can connect all the power sources together. So let's put that in there, fire it up. And I already got three cables on that one. So I'm gonna do another power pull here. And we're gonna connect this generator to this circuit. 
and we'll check. Capacity 20 megawatts, consuming 12. Was each of these 10? 20. Capacity 20. Maybe that didn't work. Oh, I didn't connect it. <laughs> connect that to that. There we go, capacity 40, consuming 12. Perfect. Now I think we can build storage containers now. Special, no, it's organization storage container. I need uh, more rods. Kind of out of ingot, so. Let's switch this over plate to rods for a while. I need more copper ore. This tree's kind of in my way. Oh, once we get the chainsaw, we'll tear it down. Okay, one more rod and I think I'm good to go here. Okay, we're gonna dump this into storage so we don't have to keep on emptying it. And I'm gonna stick that right... Maybe out a bit just so we have a bit of space. And I'm gonna try to line it up. I don't think that's actually lined up with what I want. Let's... It's kinda hard to see. I'm just going to stick it there. I think it's approximately right. A bit of distance, but connect that to that. And then that all should flow out. Perfect, perfect. Do the same thing here, but I don't think I have enough rods. Four more. And this is going to be... I'll put it kind of parallel to this one. Kind of. And we're going to connect that to that. Now, like I said, now that we can make a bunch of things like uh, foundations and stuff, I'm going to eventually build a proper factory, but I want to find out exactly where I want to put it first. This is just kind of our jump start base here. Just to get the ball rolling. There's a lot of open space here. I might build a factory in the sky. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, there's a slug up there. <laughs> but I want to get a miner going, so... Let's do that. Empty these. I'm going to pick these up. And put our MK1 miner here. I don't know if I can afford it. I think I need some more stuff. Yeah, we need rods. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Now we want the output facing that way. Yeah, that's good. That'll be iron pumping out of there. So we're going to send that into there. Uh, automation. It's beautiful. But we have no power. <laughs> okay. How many things do I have on here? Four already. I'm gonna disconnect this one and put a power pole kind of right here. And then connect that to that and then that to that. Here we go. Success. Okay, here comes the 
products. Perfect. Beautiful. Now I kind of want to do the same thing with the copper. It's a little ways away, but not too bad. It's only up there. Now how much power do we have here? Consuming nine. No power. Oh, did I forget to connect that again? I did. Okay. Now I could have put a storage container in between the miner and that thing as a buffer. But I don't think I will. And we're out of copper again, so I'm going to run over and get some copper. And I'll consider putting a miner up here, because it's really nice and close. This map is way better than the uh, map I was playing on the alpha. So I'm going to build a miner here as well. I couldn't afford to do it right now, so let's just pick this up. I have no inventory space. Okay, we'll come back. We shall come back. We need to drag some power over there as well. I'm going to do yet another power pull. I know it's excessive, but I want lots of room for expansion. So this one will be to power stuff over there. What do we need for the next upgrade? Plate. Lots of plate. Lots of rods. Not, oh, it's stuck in there now. Jeez, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. <laughs> Let's pour some ore in here. Put some copper in here. It'll let me. I probably click it on the wrong one. I was. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab some rods, and we'll get that last. Oop, wrong place. Oh, the tree's in the way. Two hundred and ninety-one, holy crap. Maybe I should make something else here. Cable, biomass. We will want to automate biomass. Not just yet though. Okay, I can build that miner now, so we're gonna go do that over here. So we can automate the copper part. Pick you up. Whoa. And minor mark one. Players in the way. Yeah, I am. I know. And we're going to face that kind of towards the base. And we need to get power from here. I don't know if this is going to reach. Let's just see. Can we reach it all the way over here? We can. Perfect. Okay. And then we want a conveyor belt from here all the way over. This could get a bit hairy. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, okay, that's too far. Let's take it around back. To there. Now there's a way to increase the height of these things, but for now I'm just going to leave it. We'll go back around here. And then we'll feed it in behind here. <laughs> Can't afford. Okay, we need some more iron plate.
And all these portable miners, I'm going to just plunk them down over by the limestone, I guess. Well, we'll put one here for sure. Let's empty this one. That's good enough for now. We're going to put a, a automated miner here as well. Copper should be coming around here soon. Store some stuff away here. Store that away. Okay. Oh, I need an iron plate. Oh, here it is. Just in time. Just in time delivery. Uh, that's going to go over this way. Under this belt, I guess. That's kind of messy, but we'll clean it up later. This is temporary. This is just to get things rolling. That'll go in there. Can't afford. Oh, so close. So close. Uh, get that ore back out. Now we have enough power to make iron plate at the same time as iron rod. I think we have enough power, let's see. Oh yeah, tons of power. Because we got more iron deposits up there. What is this complaining about? Oh, it's probably just backed up. 120 per minute. Yeah, I can't, uh... Can't mine it fast enough. Connect that. There. There we go. Copper has been automated. Beautiful thing. Okay. That's a pretty good start. It's a pretty good start. I don't think I'm going to get the next one done just yet. Upgrade 5 requires a lot of plate and a lot of rods. It won't take very long to make it, but... Uh, concrete. Rods. Plate. Yeah, I don't have a lot of plate. I think I'll finish that next episode, because I'll just let this run for a while. Next episode, we'll do the next upgrade and continue on. we got to find coal at some point so we can automate the power. Actually, speaking of power, how are we doing? Biomass is good there, running low there, but I'll stock that up. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.